Good afternoon, everyone. My name is John Hagan. I'm the executive director for the U.S. ETDA, and it is with great pleasure that I would like to announce our next um, presenter preceding our next panel discussion. Um, our major sponsor, Austin McLean of ProQuest, is going to deliver a brief welcome message. So please help me to welcome Austin McLean. Thanks, John. Very much appreciated. It's great to be at another USETDA. Um, a quick update about ProQuest before we turn it over to the panelists. Uh, uh, one of the things that we wanted to, to talk about is the ProQuest Dissertation and Thesis Global Database. You can see some of the statistics on the screen. We're continuing to grow the database. We have over 4,100 institutions from 65 countries and over 60 languages down the database. So it's a fast growing uh, collection. We just had our first university from Ukraine and Colombia sign up uh, the other week. And it's a very wonderful that the works uh, in PQDT Global are continuing to grow. But the really big news is our combination with uh, Clarivate in the Web of Science has allowed us now to include the dissertations and thesis metadata in both PQDT Global and Web of Science. So now works from your universities can be discoverable by up to 15 million users that are in uh, the Clarivate Web of Science database and PQDT Global from over 9,000 universities that have both PQDT Global, Web of Science, or one or the other. So by providing your ETD to ProQuest slash Clarivate, it goes to PQDT Global, to Web of Science, and to those 28 subject indexes, as it has done for the past decades or so. But with the Web of Science, it's that's really an important kind of breakthrough for us, because what we wanted to do is to get dissertations in kind of the, the communication that's really focused on journal articles and monographs. And with Web of Science, you can see this graphic here, kind of being in the middle of a lot of scientific discovery and scientific research. Now dissertations and theses are added to patents and books and preprints, journal articles and conference proceedings to really give a new and unparalleled reach to your uh, dissertations and theses. It, they it work right alongside your institutional repository that's doing wonderful work for discovery and accessibility. And we amplify that work from your repository through Web of Science now in addition to PQDT Global. For those of you that are uh, used to Web of Science, uh, the screenshot there shows you that you can uh, go to a full text work right on PQDT Global, or you can create an alert uh, to keep abreast of emerging graduate research, and you can identify other institutions around the world that have programs that are perhaps similar to yours. The mutual subscribers to Web of Science and PQDT Global have seamless access. So what happens when a researcher finds the work in Web of Science, they link right over to PQDT Global and go to that work. And also in PQDT Global, as we talked about last year at the US ETDA, we have the, that new feature that shows foundational research, which includes books and journal articles and other scholarly resources on that same topic that was searched, as well as on the bottom of the screen, you can see the similar dissertations. And what we do there is we look at bibliographic coupling through the references and find other dissertations and theses that uh, share a lot of references in common. So this is kind of a shortcut for researchers in order to find uh, works on that same field that they're researching. The other uh, implementation that we've done through Web of Science is create an author profile where the author can now claim their dissertation or thesis and add to the visibility, particularly for a young researcher or an, a new researcher, having this author profile is really important as part of that Web of Science ecosystem. For those of you that don't have the free ProQuest ETD dashboard that shows you your university's ETD usage through ProQuest and now through Web of Science, we encourage you to contact us. Or if you haven't looked at the ETD dashboard in a while, uh, we've, we encourage you to take a look because we think you're going to see the usage grow through that additional uh, Web of Science reach that we have now. And finally, I'm going to plug our uh, program tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern, where we're going to have uh, an update related to ETD Administrator. Many of you use ETD Administrator, and you'll hear tomorrow about the increased uh, uh, visibility for authors in terms of the copies that they order. You'll hear about the language enhancement we're doing later this year. 
and also a sneak peek into what we're doing next year, which is tags that are shared between administrators, how we're integrating an academic integrity checker, and new tools to create accessibility that we've heard and talked about so much today. So thank you all for all of your, uh, your participation in the ProQuest and now Web of Science program, and we hope you'll have a wonderful conference at, that will continue right now. Thank you so much, Austin, for that wonderful introduction.